what makes me in some respects most excited about kind of the life that I've chosen and now continuing with this big job at ACT is there is no typical day. Um, I certainly get up, and because I'm now on the West Coast, New York has already started. So the, the first thing I do, still in PJs with a cup of coffee in hand and maybe some granola, is I start answering emails from the East Coast. You know, theater is definitely all over the country, but there is a, a big core of it that is in New York City. And a lot of the agents, a lot of the artists that I continue to work with here you know, have a three-hour jump on the day. And um, so morning can be that. Then I, um, at ACT, I go into the office and it's jam-packed with meetings. And meetings can be about particular shows. Meetings can be about organizational culture. Um, meetings can be about fundraising. Meetings can be about marketing shows that are, you know, two, three months out. They can also be about marketing a show that is about to um, start performances. Um, and then, and then, you know, in addition to that, it's um, meeting artists that are local, uh, meeting with artists that happen to be in San Francisco from, let's say, LA or Portland or New York, um, just to, you know, keep that kind of ebb and flow and that roster going. I have a lot of lunches with possible donors. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot and it's, it's um, sort of a constant, exciting shift of different hats. Now, when I'm in rehearsal, that is a different rhythm because I have to sort of make room for that as my primary job. When I ha am in rehearsal, I tend to rehearse either from 10 to 6 with a lunch break. And during that lunch break, it certainly isn't a break for me. I go back downstairs and try to, you know, figure out and sort of um, get the info about, you know, everyone else's meetings of the day um, or return some phone calls uh, and then go back upstairs and continue, you know, rehearsing that play. Um, the, the evenings, I, I try to see a lot of work, both obviously at our theater, um, the, the main stage, as well as in our conservatory. We have a, an MFA acting, actor training program, and they do a lot of productions. I see a lot of that. Um, we also have a young conservatory where we train, um, uh, you know, children sort of ages like 8 to 19. Um, I see a lot of their work, and I also read a lot of plays.